Welcome back to Patrol Clip, webheads, and today the best moments from the original live-action Spider-Man himself, Tobey Maguire. We have a lot to cover, so real quick before we begin, make sure you like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell to stay up to date on all things Patrol Clip. Now, Number 5, Final Fight with Norman Osborn. He's so ready to jump in and, and do this. Yeah, that's a super villain fight. Plus, he's in ridiculous shape. We talked about the final swing. Now, it's only natural for us to talk about the final battle between Spidey and the Green Goblin at the end of Spider-Man 1. Hey, Norman Osborn. Heard so much about you. Great honor to meet you, sir. Harry tells me you're quite the science whiz. You know, I'm something of a scientist myself. Basically, I play a double role. I play the Green Goblin, and then I play Norman Osborn. I'm right here. And sometimes, in the same scene, they play scenes together, which was unusual. And it's only the beginning. Think of what we can do. Willem's a great actor. Obviously, he can, he can pull off both parts. In the movie, there are times where he needs to pull off both parts at the same time. After an intense sequence with Spidey saving both Mary Jane and a group of children, the two foes duke it out in an abandoned building. At first, Gobby really beats the hell out of the web slinger and almost to a bloody pulp, which is pretty brutal. Peter, with his mask now half destroyed from the explosion, strikes back and overpowers the goblin pretty quick until Norman Osborn comes out of the goblin shell to convince Peter to stop. What Peter doesn't know is that all of the goblin's evil intentions still remain within Norman because he commands his glider to stab him from behind. However, Norman doesn't know that Peter has a little something called spider sense, so he's taken quite by surprise when Peter backflips over the glider as it impales Norman. Oh. The heartbreaking line, Don't tell Harry, ends the fight and begins Peter's conflict with Harry over the next two movies. He's as good or better than any of the stuntmen, and he's done, you know, I'd say 90% of his own stunts. And really kind of brought this physicality to the goblin, to the portrayal was also, you know, this, when he's Norman, he's one way physically, and when he's the goblin, he's completely transformed. No one says no to me! Willem's great to work with because first and foremost he's just a great actor and I'm a big fan of his work in general. He's so full of life. Be sure to like this video, subscribe, and ring the notification bell to stay up to date on all things Patrol Clip in the future. Thanks for watching and until next time!